What up, man? It's your boy Ahita22. And your boy God Tesla. And we're back at it again with another Fire Reaction 2 Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We're on episode 6. Last episode was crazy. You had the Elric brothers soaking in the rain, uh, contemplating life, man, especially after the whole Tucker situation with Nina and Dr. Tucker. And as they're chilling in the rain, Scar runs up on them and puts their hands on them in a pretty vicious manner. Kind of sneaks them while they're, you know, pretty vulnerable. And, uh, but he's putting the hands on both brothers, blows Alphonse's side up, uh, figured out how Ed does his alchemy and took his whole arm off. Like, give me that, bro. You're not using that no more for the rest of the scrap. Had his life. It was ready to die. And, uh, out of nowhere, reinforcements come through and Armstrong starts throwing them thumpers with him. Let's him know, hey, bro, you ain't gonna be killing all state alchemists out here like that. I'm a savage. I do this. <laughs> Hands on 100 uh, and scarred books, man. So it was definitely a dope episode. We're looking forward to this one. But before we get into it, got to give a big shout out to the big homie, Sean Michaels. Hey, a.k.a. Hey. HBK, the Heartbreak Kid, the newest I'm member cute. of the League of Dude, Legends. I know I'm sexy. I got, I got the looks. Let's yeah. stop, bro. The crowd. <laughs> hey, he's about to give me crunk right there. Bro. Hey, thank you, brother. Bro, thank we you, appreciate bro. your God, pants, man. man. Yeah, welcome to the squad, you. bro. Yes, sir. Also, be sure to hit that like button. Yes. Be sure to subscribe if you're brand new. Please. For full length reactions or early reactions, you can check us out on our Patreon. Thanks. Enough for the talk. Let's jump into the sauce. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Anyway, are you sure Al made it on board? Of course. He in a suitcase. Chilling with the pieces. animals, bro. Oh, oh dang. Oh, man. Oh, the disrespect, Armstrong. At least he ain't got a smell of <laughs> True, he has no senses popping off. Stop in and give me a shout the next time you make it to Central. We out. <laughs> right. You know, he got the old philosopher mind anyway. <laughs> Alchemy, the beauty of it. Marco, that is you, isn't it? <laughs> it's me, Alex Louise Armstrong from Central. Oh, he's terrified. He's out, bro. Guy like this doctor might know some useful things about bioalchemy. He obviously don't want to talk to y'all. He took off. <laughs> he said, what, Armstrong? Louis Armstrong. Oh, God, straight here to see this guy. Do you know who this person is by any chance? What a sketch, boy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There he is. I do this. <laughs> We're the best at everything. Intellectual savage. All of our town's doctors were drafted to help on the battlefields during the Civil War. Then Dr. Morrow came here. He's really been a lifesaver. in the But still, how is he uh, defined the law of war? Right, Equivalent exchange. Have you come to take me back? Please, doctor, calm down. I don't ever want to go back. Anything but that. That's not it. Please listen. So you're here to silence me then? No, nothing like Simmer that. down, G. <laughs> oh, you pissing me off, bro. Why are you gonna drop a box on him, though? See what I'm saying? Because you trying him, bro. You pissing me off. I'm trying to keep a couple steps. Researching that thing was too much. That thing. What thing is that? It took so many lives. During the Civil War, so many innocent died because of it. Oh. Spend my whole life trying and still never atone for the things I've done. Mm. But I had to do something, so I came here to be a doctor to save lives instead of taking them. Mm. Doctor, what exactly was it you were ordered to do research on? Yeah, run that. How can that be the stone? It's a liquid. Oh. Oh, so as you drop it, it's gone, turn into a stone again. That's what they carrying around the remnant soldiers. Grand Elixir, the Celestial Stone, the Red Tincture, the Fifth Element. Mm. Just as the Philosopher's Stone is called by many names, so it can take on many forms, it is not necessarily a stone. Mm. This is an incomplete product, however. Mm -hmm. If imitation stones this powerful can be produced, imagine what the real thing is. Exactly. 
Oh, I'm excited. Access to your research Major, who exactly is this boy? This boy is a young savage. boy is a state alchemist doctor. What? But he's only a child. Yo. He's a savage. I mean business though. I ain't even triggered right now, yeah. bro. Where you where your documents at? State alchemist who turned in there. No I made a lot of mistakes already. Yeah. Where the documents, bro? Yeah, bring your papers up, bro. Run it. So you committed the taboo. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. We did that. Get our bodies back. Oh, because it's got the Never. sauce. This is the devil's research. Oh. If you chase the stone, you will go through hell. Been through I've hell. already gone through hell, bro. <laughs> Look at me. Look at my brother. <laughs> You gotta show that man the juice, bruh. No homo. Even an incomplete philosopher's stone could be useful. Exactly. Taking it from the doctor by force. Oh, ha, ha, ha. That's why we shoot word, you at bro. the door. That's why we shoot you at the door. But we need that, bruh. We don't want it so badly that we'd be willing to deprive this town of their only doctor. I met a simple small town doctor today. I can't see any real reason to report that. Mm. See, he, right. I bet he feel guilty about everything that happened to Israel also. Oh, bro. You need to see this. Dr. Marco? No, no. This is where my materials are. If you're certain you won't regret learning the truth in the end, start looking here. Look closely. Maybe you'll find the truth hidden within the truth. Mm. No. Well, I get it. Like hiding a tree in the forest. Finding one book in that giant library will be difficult indeed. I do this. Another clue about the stone. Oh yeah, he, he reads. Yeah, he loves books. He want to figure this out for pride's sake. No, that's a bad sign. Why do we follow this man home? Uh, I told you. Yep, I knew. Sh providing the remnants of the sauce. Full metal oh, but we need more of that though. Full metal alchemist. <laughs> she didn't get big. Yeah. Huh? Why is he still carrying Franz? Maybe Franz can't walk right now? Oh, he can't walk right he now. He got his leg load off? Nah, his side, remember? So I, I guess ain't nothing working without the core, huh? Right. He need, he need repair it, too. Ah, <laughs> run it. Oh. Right, ho. Why would I? <laughs> there they go. Bow. Up. It got oh. real out there. Stop a little pet. Do you see what you've done to my beautiful creation? I slaved over this. That's basically the same, just in smaller pieces. Oh, bow. Yeah, yeah, Yo, man, simmer down. You smashed up too, Al. What kind of trouble have you two been getting yourselves into? There's been real big. <laughs> oh, you, you two even here. All you ever do is worry me. All right. Dang, Renry, not Fon not Alphonse. I got right. this information you know. <laughs> I got you, bro. Shake the arms in. We'll have to build it from scratch. <laughs> Is there any chance you can have it? I ain't know Granny was getting in it like that also. They are awesome alchemists out here. Oh, chief in that granary. <laughs> Smoking that loud. Simmer down, yeah, Granny. Now. Uh, it's a little difficult to walk on a leg I'm not used to. You'll be finished before you get used to it. Three days, huh? Between machining, assembly, connecting, and finishing. That's three all night. I gotta get games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he lost the leg, yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. The wood you requested. Oh, thank you. Oh. I haven't seen Edward anywhere around the house in a while. Yeah. He said he was going off to visit his mother's grave. It gets real around these parts, Armstrong. Yeah, we're at home. There's right been here. a lot of bodies, a lot of death, a lot of stress. A lot of tests, kind of cooking meth. The boys meeting these days. Right. The Elric brothers are strong boys. Facts. Strong, huh? <laughs> yes. Pat me on the head. <laughs> I'm curious, Madam Rockbell. You speak of the Elrics as though they were your grandsons. Of course. I've been watching over them since they were born. I thought that was the person. I'm a friend of the family, you see. Oh, Always oh okay. Always an old drinking pal of mine. One day, he hmm. up and left the village, abandoning his wife and sons. Parents. That's what we do to dead beats. They both died in the Civil War. Oh, yeah, that happened. Surgeons. They went to the battlefield to do what they could. There were never enough doctors for all the injured soldiers. That was terrible. The war. Yes, it was indeed. 
You know he feel guilty. Oh, mm -hmm. looks like it's about time for me to get supper started. You look like you could eat a lot, but adding one more guest won't be any inconvenience to us. What about the house they grew up in? Oh, we don't go back there, bro. Mm -mm. <laughs> Burn that down. Have any home to return to. He went to the empty lot. They left after Ed had gotten his state certification. Okay. They burned down their own house. They burned it down. It exactly. Because with no house to come home to, there could be no turning back. <laughs> where, where were you, bro? Oh, God. I would love to try and bring your mother back to life. What a tremendous sacrifice to give a oh. woman to transmute your brother's disembodied He didn't know. Oh, what determination to burn down your own house <laughs> to make sure there was no retreat. <laughs> he got a soft spot. Allow me to hope for you this comfort and grace. I told you that philosopher's mind, bro. <laughs> he loves it. What a story, G. I love you, bro. Ew, she getting it, bro. Get off her. I know. I get know off her boobies, man. Summer down. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Back up. <laughs> She's about to get him. Right, for real. <laughs> she was merciful, bro. Yeah, she was. She already done punched you one time in your jaw. I know, right? Passion. <laughs> right. Yeah, but keep it real. Big facts. He getting a little swallowed, though, you know what I'm saying? Battle tested. Yeah, feels good. I increased the percentage of chrome this time, so it should be less prone to rusting. The trade off is that it's not quite as strong, so don't try anything crazy. Hey, listen up. I'm out. Mmm. That's major. That's the main important part right there. Out here. Mm -hmm. Instantly. You ready to try it out? Yeah. It'll be quiet around here without those Pow. boys. Shut <laughs> up. Well, brother? Yep. Yeah, it's time mm. to go to Central and find Dr. Marco's documents. We leave first thing to That team is solid there. It's like the older one. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. It can be a handful. Someone has to look after him. Big facts. Oh, wow. Okay. To think someone as young and as small as he is could be used as a human weapon. Granny, Henry, I'm so grateful to you for always welcoming us like we're really family. Yeah. I won't ever say it, but I know brother feels the same way. Don't you worry, dear. We know he feels that way, too. He doesn't have to say it. Granny. Henry. Thank you. I know, right, bro? You're right, bro. Hey, anytime Alphonse start talking, bro, it get real. Yeah, man. You should come back once in a while and have dinner with us. All right. <laughs> Big facts. You want us to come all this way into the mountains just for some dinner? Shut up, Ed. Edward. Alphonse. Come back soon, okay? Uh oh. <laughs> See, they ain't family, you know what I'm saying? You might as well go ahead and yeah. jump on that. Yeah, uh, he he made he made me we got four more years to you, legal. Oh, no, three more years. Lid is soda. I can't hear the soda. No, he gave me one over to eat me some soca. Good hey, episode, man. bro. See, it's starting to hit that realm now where it's like. You understand the characters more now. Yeah. Know, digging more into them. Uh, understanding why the, the way that they are, you know. And then I understand why Ed suppresses his feelings. You know what I'm saying, bro? They've been through some things, man. They have been through some things. If anybody gets to be callous, it's him. Just trying <laughs> to, you know what I'm saying? It all started with Pops leaving. Mm -hmm. Dad rolls out. You know, they gave us a little backstory on Granny and uh, the fact that, you know, his dad was her drinking partner and everything, right. and out of nowhere, he just ups and leaves. Mom, Dukes, and the kids. But he was an alchemist, you know what I'm saying? So obviously, he inspired the Elric brothers, you know what I'm saying? His sons to dibble and dabble in that world. So naturally, you know, they were like, oh, dad, I want you to be, look what we did. We're, we're turning up. Right. Aren't you proud? He's right. never around. Mom dies. The only thing that's really, you know, 
After dad leaving, that's after all dad, that's all we have is mom. We try to bring you back. Failed miserably, and now we're in a, I mean a savage situation. Alphonse lost his body, so meshed together with the armor. I lost my arm and leg. And they were already saying? basically orphans at that brought, point. Brought back a crispy, burned up demon of a mother, like tough stuff. Uh, and so then, you know, it's it's crazy because I was wondering what the relationship was with Renry and the granny. Uh, I thought it was my. I thought she was presented as a cousin at first, but nah. So they're just you know friends of the family. Mm-hmm. So I think that's gonna be you know they kind of hinted towards a little relationship between Ed and Renry. You know what I'm saying? After you get a little taller. She working day and night for that man. You she know. You know he day. he appreciates it mightily, but he trying to suppress his his emotions, make it seem like you know. Mm-hmm. It's nothing major, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Well, you gotta maintain that. That kind of aura about himself, though, because they got a lot of work to do, and there's a lot of cats on their neck, you know? Alphonse is the man, yo. Alphonse, anytime you hear him start talking, he keeps it real. He changes somebody's life, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because ultimately, his perspective is like, look at me. I mean, <laughs> I'm a 14-year-old savage stuck within some armor. I don't even have a body. All right. I just want the warmth of food. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. yeah, you feel for whatever he about to say. Mm-hmm. You know he about to say something powerful. He's more level-headed, you know, than Ed. He be looking out, you know, Ed's the more talented alchemist, but Alphonse plays his role. You know, definitely, bro. definitely pulls Alphonse in the compassion. Let you yeah. know how real life is. Definitely, real, you know yeah, saying? yeah. He's definitely gentle and compassionate, but he'll throw them thumpers when the time comes. Trust that. Whatever we got to do to live, we need our bodies back, right. first and foremost. But uh, then Armstrong's a dope character too, though, bro. Yeah, man. So they go roll up on a doctor. That's major. So you got the doc. He done conjured up throughout the time in Ishval the sauce, the philosopher's stone, the research, the reviews. Down in, in the elixir, he's got it down to an elixir, which as soon as it falls, is creating a little remnant stone, of philosopher's right? stones that, ha- that has sauce. This incomplete product has sauce, which we kind of, you know, we was like, all right, it might be a fake, but it's doing something, though. They're creating. They're bypassing aspects of equivalent exchange until it backfires like it did on Cornello or somebody. Yep. You know, when it has that, uh, I think they called it a rebound or something. Like a creature-like effect? <clears throat> well, yeah, it rebounded on him, and that's when he turned into a creature, Cornello. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, obviously, it has its limits on how much you can use it. And then he made it seem like that would go old and expire eventually. Yeah, but was, do, you, do you think that he's supplying old girl? I think he supplied her a while ago. You know what I'm saying? That's why he booked and tried to get away because she came through and was like, "Give me that." Oh, oh well, not she, she. She said, "I've been looking for you, doctor." You know what I'm saying? So he he must have felt guilty within all the death that was happening because think about it. I think your boy had one too. Uh, you Isaac had one obviously. She knew about Isaac having one because as yeah. soon as his disappeared, it's almost like they kind of knew like yeah. something. Kind of yeah. triggered them, not just her, but also the crimson dude that he went and talked to, that Isaac went and talked to in the prison. Yeah, that's the one I was doing the crowns and Ishva all blowing up in that oh, flashback city, we, yeah. we saw. You know, I believe that was the crimson one that blew up the city. Uh, so I believe he supplied them during the times of Ishva alone. He was probably working with her father, uh. Because I think she said something about dad is not going to be pleased when she was talking to Cornella. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she said that in one episode. Yeah. So, you know, maybe he was working, Doc was working with her dad or something, uh, distributing these amongst state alchemists during the crowns of Ishmael. That's why I think Bradley really got, there's really some things going on with Bradley, bro. Marco felt so guilty, he done went and became a doctor, changed his name up, just to try to atone for some of the savagery he researched. And, he still and his research was the product of the savagery that was committed amongst Ishbal and stuff. Him digging in that word in that world, they obtained some knowledge, seeking the truths of how the philosopher's stone worked. So now, you know, Ed trying to figure out how to complete the jump. So mm-hmm. we can bypass all the way. Equivalent exchange and get our bodies. He back. only told them where to go find the books. Where to find Jeez, the books. That's and then he said, man, you, then you gotta search for the truth within the truth. <laughs> You're gonna have to do some invested, heavy research. Trying to figure out, you know, how to complete the Philosopher's Stone. All right, because you can't get too much better than this. I ain't he said it's yet. the devil's research. <laughs> Bro, stay away. Yeah. He was very hesitant, but ain't no telling what she's about to. So that means, you know, hey, bro, we need that elixir, the remainder that you have. She might even get him and have him whipping up 
more and more in abundance. So, crazy. We know what that, crazy, we know crazy. that little bit of juice can do, though. But Ramry turned up though, you know what I'm saying? Healing his arm and stuff. Yeah, yeah. How it connects to the to the nerves. You know, that's She's some pretty clutch. intuitive stuff. She's right. Clutch. And Granny's not as well too. I hope nothing ever happens to her, but I can see like a situation where she gets kidnapped, they gotta go get her. I never know, bro. Oh, granny, you know what I'm saying? Oh, if it gets vicious, right. they start digging in. We know we're dealing with some hitters, bro. The scars his own it. independent individual outside of this. Faction with the Philosopher's Stone users, right. you know what I'm saying? The remnants of the Philosopher's Stone. So, Scar's a hitter. I yeah, think, I think right. ultimately though, I could see Scar joining up with the Elrics though. Because he realized that they ain't part of that. They wanted to commit the Isval. And they only do theirs for good, or what they could perceive it as good. And to me, it seemed like Armstrong is constantly. Like, I bet he dealing with, uh, I bet he was thugging out there in Isval. And he understands, that's why, like, he kind of understands. He's all we've, we've seen other conversations already with him where he's like mentioned Ishval and he already he like those things that were committed like him reminiscing always brings back like yeah let's keep it real everything that we get we got coming up yeah <laughs> he a trip though bro he a philosopher he, 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 he kills me bro he's a trip he's a philosopher with everything the beauty of burning down your house because of what you did, but the sacrifice that you committed, <laughs> knowing you have no home. Oh, Edward, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's always on it. Let me give you my warm embrace. He <laughs> <laughs> said, you don't say give me a uh, hug. Let me embrace. <laughs> bro, yeah, he's a trip, man. I he like Armstrong's character, yeah. But it sounded like he dealing with the grips. But I like how he was like, bro, I mean, if you really wanted the books, you know you just had to give the word. And yeah. I would have Clocked him. done nice. what I do. It's <laughs> what I've done. I, I need to get past do. doing that though. I'm trying to change. I'm, I'm a change man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he, he, I just seem like he's dealing with the CNT committed too, so. He just like that though, bro. That's, that's what we do as state alchemists. If we really want War it, animals, we take bro. it. You know what I'm saying? the weapons. We shut the whole countries down. We shut down revolutions. We shut down all that. <laughs> yeah, but they took it too far with Israel, though. That's, that's why they're dealing with Ratchet's themselves. like Crimson in between. That's where he locked up, though. He locked up because he went too far. I think all of them went too far. I think even he feels he went too far. Armstrong. But maybe Crimson went they further they than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? They did what they was ordered to do. But Crimson might have went further than everybody he else. He might have went further than everybody else. But he don't seem like, I mean, we, don't, we ain't seen much of him, but he don't seem contrite yeah. about it. Maybe he looked like, like he was enjoying his savagery in that flashback. He was enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, like he loved it. Yeah. Armstrong may have been putting hands on the ones that were, he was defending himself and cracking whatever's in front of him, yeah, but leaving the women and children, maybe. You know? <coughs> Quite possibly. That's how we get scars. I don't know. Man, Scar may escape off his, off his savage. Straight thuggery. He's bro. savage. And are there more uh, scars out there? Does he have cousins if out there? If they have survivors, Are they yes. breeding? Because I think that's something we was talking about off camera also. Like maybe the Ish Rollins was breeding more scars. And which made them a threat. Right. And actually, like, maybe something within there. Oh, because, uh, oh, they did mention how, you know, his alchemy, like, they believe everything comes through from their God. Their eyes and hair. The God of Ishmael. That's how they. That's but no, how no, no, but the God them. of Ishmael is the provider of oh, the that's sauce still, and everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's why he always comes through God. God's, yeah, the vengeance of God. And you use your alchemy in an abominable way. Uh, but, uh, I think. Maybe that's that's what had to do with Ishval. Like they were a real threat for the simple fact that their alchemy was some next level stuff. Uh, that was just a theory. Like maybe that's what if there were more scars out there. Some, no, don't kill us in the comment section. We just guessing at. This oh, you already know what it is, man. Yeah, questions up, man. I'm oh, like, we ain't worried about none of that, man. Yeah, you know that's what theories are for and stuff. But uh, please, no that would that would be crazy. Yes, please, no spoilers. No that's spoilers. That's number one. We, we love, love trying to chat in the comments, man. But. uh your boy got to constantly, I, a lot of times I just upload a video and just leave it alone. I might read the first 12 comments, 13 comments, but fortunately we had moderators handling spamming or, or uh, go, moderators. go mods for real, man. Yeah, I think they own the spoilers. So uh, appreciate the support, man. Dope episode. For On sure. to the next. I'll let your boys. We're out. Peace. Peace.